10 mysteries scientists cannot explain. From enigmatic sounds to ancient artifacts, these mysteries have baffled scientists for years. In the Serene Judge C.R. Magny State Park in Minnesota lies a baffling natural phenomenon known as the Devil's Kettle. This waterfall on the Brule River splits into two streams. One continues downstream while the other vanishes into a deep hole. Despite numerous experiments, including dye tests and ping pong balls, scientists have been unable to trace where the water reemerges. Traditional hydrological methods failed to explain this vanishing act, leading to theories ranging from underground rivers to hidden caves. Some believe the water travels through a series of porous rock passages, rejoining the river at a lower point, but the true destination remains unknown. Theories also suggest that underground chambers or complex cave systems might be involved, but conclusive evidence is lacking. This enigmatic site continues to attract curious visitors and researchers, all eager to solve the puzzle of where the water goes. It's a perfect example of how even seemingly straightforward natural phenomena can conceal profound mysteries. In the small town of Taos, New Mexico, a persistent low-frequency hum has puzzled residents and scientists alike since the early 1990s. Described as a distant diesel engine, the Taos hum is audible to only about 2% of the population. Extensive investigations, including acoustic measurements and psychological assessments, have failed to identify its source. Some theories suggest industrial equipment, while others propose natural geological activity or even mass hysteria. Despite these efforts, the Taos hum remains one of the most elusive auditory phenomena. For those who can hear it, the hum can be maddening, disrupting sleep and concentration. It has led to health studies and even community meetings aimed at finding relief. The hum has been recorded and analyzed, showing frequencies typically in the 30 to 80 H's range, but pinpointing a precise cause has been elusive. Some scientists suggest that certain people might have heightened sensitivity to these frequencies, making them more susceptible to hearing the hum. The Taos hum continues to intrigue and frustrate both those who hear it and those who seek to understand it. The Voynich Manuscript is one of history's most mysterious books. Discovered in 1912 by antiquarian Wilfred Voynich, this medieval codex is written in an unknown script and illustrated with bizarre otherworldly images. It has stumped linguists, cryptographers, and historians for over a century. The manuscript contains sections on botany, astronomy, biology, cosmology, and even recipes, but its true purpose and content remain undeciphered. Some believe it's an elaborate hoax, while others think it holds the secrets of ancient knowledge or even an uncracked code. Various theories have been proposed, from it being a medieval medical textbook to an alchemical guide. Despite advanced cryptographic techniques and the best efforts of experts worldwide, no one has been able to unlock the manuscript's secrets. The manuscript's illustrations depict strange plants, astrological symbols, and diagrams that don't correlate with no knowledge from the time, adding to its mystery. The Voynich manuscript's origin, authorship, and meaning remain one of the most captivating and enigmatic puzzles, making it an enduring symbol of the limits of our understanding. Discovered in a shipwreck off the coast of the Greek island of Antikythera in 1901, the Antikythera mechanism is an ancient Greek analog device that has puzzled scientists for decades. Dating back to around 100 BCE, this complex machine consists of a series of gears and was used to predict astronomical positions and eclipses. Its level of sophistication suggests a knowledge of mechanical engineering that was thought to be lost until the Middle Ages. Researchers continue to study the mechanism, attempting to understand its full capabilities and the extent of ancient Greek technology. X-ray imaging and three-dimensional modeling have revealed the intricate details of its construction, but questions remain about who built it and for what precise purpose. Some suggest it could have been used for educational purposes, demonstrating astronomical principles to students or scholars. Its discovery has sparked a re-evaluation of the technological capabilities of ancient civilizations, opening new avenues for understanding human history. The mechanism's complexity indicates that it likely had predecessors, raising further questions about the extent and duration of such advanced technological development in ancient Greece. On August 15, 1977, astronomer Jerry Amon detected a strong, narrowband radio signal while working on a SETI project at Ohio State University's Big Ear Radio Telescope. The signal, which lasted for 72 seconds, was so remarkable that Amon circled it and wrote, WOW, in the margins of the data printout. Despite numerous attempts to identify its source, the signal has never been detected again. It has sparked considerable speculation, including the possibility of it being a message from an extraterrestrial civilization. However, without further evidence, the WOW signal remains an unsolved mystery. The signal's exact frequency and characteristics have led some to consider it could be a natural astronomical phenomenon or even a terrestrial interference. Detailed analysis has ruled out many conventional explanations, but the lack of repeat signals has made further study challenging. Despite these theories, the WOW signal continues to tantalize scientists and alien enthusiasts alike. 
It stands as one of the most compelling pieces of evidence in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, yet its true origin remains a profound mystery. Ball lightning is a rare and mysterious atmospheric phenomenon often described as a glowing spherical object that appears during thunderstorms. Witnesses report seeing orbs ranging from pea size to several meters in diameter, floating or moving unpredictably before disappearing. Despite numerous accounts, the scientific community has yet to fully understand the formation and behavior of ball lightning. Some theories suggest it is related to lightning strikes, while others propose it could be a type of plasma or a chemical reaction. Efforts to recreate and study ball lightning in laboratory settings have had limited success, leaving this luminous enigma largely unexplained. Historical accounts of ball lightning include descriptions of it passing through closed windows and causing significant damage, adding to its mysterious nature. The phenomenon has been reported for centuries, yet remains one of the least understood aspects of meteorology. Ball lightning continues to captivate the imagination and curiosity of scientists and laypeople alike, representing a fascinating intersection of natural science and mystery. On June 30th, 1908, a massive explosion rocked the remote Siberian region of Tunguska, flattening an estimated 2,000 square kilometers of forest. The blast, believed to be caused by the airburst of a comet or meteoroid, released energy equivalent to 10 to 15 megatons of TNT. Despite extensive investigations, no impact crater or fragments have been found, and the exact nature of the object remains uncertain. The Tunguska event has generated numerous theories, from antimatter collisions to mini black holes, but none have been conclusively proven. Eyewitness reports describe a bright, fiery object streaking across the sky before the explosion, adding to the mystery. Subsequent expeditions have uncovered unusual tree growth patterns and other anomalies, but definitive answers remain elusive. Some theories propose that the explosion was caused by a fragment of a comet made mostly of ice, which would have vaporized upon entering the atmosphere, leaving no trace. This colossal explosion continues to intrigue scientists and remains one of the greatest natural mysteries of the 20th century. In 1997, the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, detected a mysterious ultra-low frequency sound in the Pacific Ocean. Dubbed the bloop, the sound was louder than any known animal and was picked up by sensors over 5,000 kilometers apart. Initial speculation suggested it could be from an enormous, undiscovered marine creature. However, subsequent analysis leaned towards the sound being generated by ice quakes, massive icebergs cracking and fracturing. Despite this plausible explanation, the sheer scale and uniqueness of the bloop continue to spark curiosity and debate. The idea of an unknown oceanic giant remains a tantalizing possibility for some, reminiscent of the deep sea mysteries that have inspired countless tales of sea monsters. Whether from natural or unknown origins, this enigmatic sound remains a fascinating chapter in the study of Earth's underwater mysteries. The bloop has also inspired pop culture references and scientific investigations into other unexplained ocean sounds, contributing to the broader mystery of what lies beneath the ocean surface. The Nazca Lines are a series of large geoglyphs etched into the desert plains of southern Peru. Created between 500 BCE and 500 CE by the Nazca culture, these massive drawings include animals, plants, and geometric shapes, some stretching over 1,200 feet. The purpose of these lines remains a mystery. Theories range from astronomical calendars to religious rituals and even alien landing strips. Despite numerous studies, no definitive explanation has emerged. The Nazca Line's precise construction and enduring visibility add to their enigmatic nature, making them one of the most intriguing archaeological mysteries in the world. Some researchers suggest they were created for deities, meant to be seen from the sky, while others propose they were part of water-related rituals. The method by which the Nazca people created these enormous figures without modern tools is also a subject of great curiosity. Some believe they use simple tools and surveying techniques, yet the accuracy and scale of the lines suggest a sophisticated understanding of geometry and geography. The Nazca lines continue to attract tourists, archaeologists, and researchers, all eager to unlock the secrets of these ancient markings. The question of how life began on Earth is one of the most profound mysteries in science. Various hypotheses have been proposed, including the primordial soup theory, hydrothermal vent hypothesis, and panspermia, the idea that life came from space. While scientists have made significant strides in understanding the conditions that could have led to the formation of life, no theory has been conclusively proven. The transition from non-living chemical compounds to self-replicating organisms remains elusive. Studies in biochemistry, molecular biology, and even astrophysics continue to explore this fundamental question. Discoveries of extremophiles, organisms that thrive in extreme conditions, have expanded our understanding of where life can exist, further complicating the search for its origins. The study of ancient rocks and meteorites has also provided clues, suggesting that organic molecules necessary for life could have been delivered to Earth from space. This mystery sits at the heart of numerous scientific disciplines, intertwining biology, 
chemistry, and astronomy in the quest to understand one of life's greatest questions.